It's been almost a week since a record setting number of Americans cast their votes in the general election. While the votes are in, the results not quite yet official. News 9's Gage Golding was in Hancock County where the votes from one precinct were being canvassed. He's in Wharton with more now on what canvassing votes mean. Gage. Good evening, Kay. Thank you. You're absolutely right. Six days ago, votes were cast, and today the votes aren't being counted, but rather recounted for accuracy. Take a look. The votes in all of one precinct were chosen at random, and they're being canvassed. This means that all the votes are manually counted and verified for accuracy. The process ensures that early votes and absentee ballots were tallied up and added to the total count. Staff members also going through votes that had question marks on the signatures to make sure the signature on the envelope matches what they have on record. Also for this year, they make sure COVID ballots or people who are voting from their car are accurately represented. Finally, they sift through each electronic ballot by hand to make sure the numbers they get match the machine's tally. When I stopped in this afternoon, I checked to see how the process was going. Take a listen. I think right now has been going very well. Uh, the votes are lining up and the numbers are really good with the machine, so we're very happy with it so far. Now, if there was a discrepancy, the staff would work to find out where and then move to correct the vote. Now, this isn't the last step. The ballots must be held for 48 hours before a canvas certificate can be sent to Charleston. Then state officials wait until they receive all of the canvas certificates before telling each individual board that they can certify the election. Kate, I'm told that all of this is to help make sure that each vote is counted and to make sure that they're legal. Reporting live in downtown Weirton for News 9 Live at 5, I'm Gage Golding.